Bago namatay si Ninoy, dito siya tumira tatlongpung taon na ang nakalipas. Ang tahanan ito ang saksi sa pinakamasayang bahagi raw ng buhay ng pamilya. Kasi nung kakalipat namin doon, talagang una, nakakatakot ang tandaan itong bahay na ito. Tsaka uh, ang heater, yung old style na radiator. Sanay kami na nakajakat sa loob itong bahay kasi ang mahal-mahal ng gas eh. Kailangan magtipid. True yon talaga na alam na alam ko what it's like magtipid sa kuryente. Kasi ang mahal ng to heat a house. Like now, super conscious ako na, ako ay magpatay clean ng ilaw or pag walang tao, patay niya yung aircon because of those years. Isang araw dumating ang dad, may mga forms for all of us para sa insurance niya. Importante ang mahal magkasakit dito. Kinabukasan, pagkadating niya, sabi niya, okay, change of plans. Yung mga pinafill up ko sa inyo, na dinala ko, kalimutan na ninyo, pinagpupunit ko na lang. Dahil ang mahal pala ng insurance, lahat mag-ingat na lang, bawal magkasakit. I would say Pinky was the breadwinner when we lived there. She never gave money to mom or to dad, but every payday from work, I would say she took care of the food. At sa mag-asawa, hindi si Ninoy, kundi si Cory Rao, ang tagaayos ng mga sira sa kanilang bahay. Ang dad was not want to be fixing things in the house. May isang fall na nabaha yung basement non-stop. Kaka-operahan pa lang ng dad nun. Kaya, syempre, hindi ko kaya yan. Sa kami ng mga mom, sige, balde, akyat, tapon, hanggang nahanap nga ako ano pala yung valve na bubuksan para nga mawala lahat ng tubig. Tila walang kakaiba sa pamumuhay ng isang ordinaryong pamilya. Malaking bagay na raw ito, lalo na sa bunso, na siyam na taong gulang pa lang noon. Dad, siguro kasi nga had to make up for lost time. So, ang mom namin ng disciplinarian. So parang, di ko ma-recall ever na napagalitan ako ng dad ko. I was only one year and seven months when martial law was declared. So parang, first memories ko of what family life was like was visiting my dad in Fort Bonifacio. So parang how yan nangyari, yung lumalaki ko, akala ko yun yung normal. So that was the big adjustment for you, I guess, to sa, Ameri dad. sa America. Basically, uh -oh. to have a dad because in, in, that was the ano talaga. And we really had to adjust to each other uh, because I really was just so used to having my mom's 100% attention. So syempre, may konting jealousy at first. My sisters all said, you know, dad never was able to watch any of our school plays. E ako ba with Christmas pageant, even if I had just one line, my dad would be there. Sa Boston, ang asawa ng magiging Pangulo at ama ng isa pang Pangulo naging isang karaniwang padre de pamilya. Ang dating senador, kalaban ng diktador, tatlong taong nasanay maging family man. Driver ng pamilya at tagapaligo pa ng aso. So tumawag siya, Ma, may pasalubong ako. May dala akong dalawang aso, lahat kami ako. Dagdag pa sa trabaho. Mag-aalaga ka pa ng aso, magpapaligo ka pa ng aso. Pero, pinanindigan niya. Since siya yung may gusto kasi na, Dad, huwag na. Karamihan sa mga kapitbahay nila noon, wala na rito ngayon. Pleased to meet you. I'm Howie Severino from the Philippines. Yes. Ngunit nandito pa rin ang mag-asawang balit na sa tabi lang ng mga Aquino nakatira. You're next door neighbors to a family that produced two Philippine presidents. That's right. And an actress. Of course. So I would be raking leaves and Ninoy would be raking leaves and we'd hold each other's leaf bags and talk. So we would talk outside. I mean, they were a very discreet person. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and we respected our privacy. This is the Christmas card I got from from Corey. Do you want this? Where she said, I'm sorry I didn't see you when I visited Boston. We'd seen her only at Mass, she said hello. Mm. My oldest daughter, Elena, who taught at Mount Alvernia, got married to her boyfriend of seven years. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful wedding in spite mm -hmm. of a few sad moments when I was thinking of Ninoy mm -hmm. and wishing he could have been with us. Hello. Okay, the only 
bukod sa mga valet. Nakilala ko rin ang iba pang naging malapit kay Nino. At ito ang paborito nilang libangan noon. Magmamadyo silang hanggang umaga na minsan eh. Tapos breakfast na, tapos uwi na siya. <laughs> yun ang libangan ni Nino. Eh. Labay, libangan niya. Nako, pag yung tumawag na yan, kahit na anong oras, ibig sabihin noon, meron siyang balita tungkol kay Marcos or something. Kasi mamaya sabi niya, nako, malubha na. Ay, nako, malakas na naman. <laughs> Nagdi-depress siya, kawawa naman si Nino. Pag ganyan-ganyan ang mga balita, di ba? No? So ito yung mesa kung saan yeah, kayo yeah, naglalaro yeah. nila ni Ninoy. Oh. <laughs> Pinagawa yeah. nga lang sa Pilipinas. Ah, Just me. Bakit wala bang ganito sa Amerika? Wala. Come on in. Hi, Come on in. Hi, Bob. Bob. Hi, Bob. Okay. Howie. Hi. Mga magkakaibigan doktor na matagal na sa Amerika, sila ang pinakabarkada ni Ninoy Hi, sa Boston. Thank you for having us. Thank you, thank you. And I understand that many of you were quite close to him when he was living in Boston. We were Boston. very, very close. Nagtipon sila para alalahanin ang dati nilang kaibigan. He is a uh, non-stop talker. I tell you what, you know, his memory of everything that's happening in his life, you know, from the time he was the mayor, the senator, he, we know all his life yeah. now. And so we are listeners, very... so uh, you can imagine that, you know, play, 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 but he can talk, talk, talk. He is a good storyteller. But it is so fascinating. It's fascinating. But... Siguro alam niya rin yung kanyang reputation, no? Bago oh, yeah. ng martial law oh, yeah. bilang isang... Batang senador, oh, yeah. he, you know, he, he had a private army, yeah. nagbababae daw siya. He didn't see signs of that. No, 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 not no. Completely all. different, you know. And believe it or not, I don't think that he's faking it. You know what I'm saying, that just because they are here, they are showing his good face? I don't think so. I think he is really for real. Siguro talagang nahirapan siya sa kulo or something Nag na na-realize niya talaga na Tama na yung politics na yan. Enough. Because they enjoy their life here. They really enjoy their Boston life.